Hello and welcome back to my channel. This week I finished off a couple of paintings. I hope you enjoy watching. Hi, so I've almost finished the faces and I now have to decide on the background colour which is quite a difficult decision. I need to make sure it tones in with the rest of the painting but at the same time doesn't really use a colour that's in the portraits otherwise they'll sort of blend into the background too much. So I think looking at the colours that I have here in the portrait I'm going to opt for a very pale grey. I thought I'd share with you a book that I've just finished which was amazing. It was called The Thrive Programme and was recommended to me by a friend that I really admire. She's such an optimistic person and she never seems to be afraid of trying something new. I gained a new perspective after reading it and it came at a really good time as I've only recently taken the plunge and decided to become a professional artist. To sum the Thrive Programme up briefly for you, it encourages you to consider what your beliefs are about what you're capable of and to see them as beliefs and not as facts. As the old adage goes, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. That's enough philosophy for now. I've put the link in the description if you're interested in the book. We have sunshine forecasted for today here in Normandy which is a miracle after I think probably about 10 days of grey skies so I'm getting the dog ready getting in the car and we're going off to the beach. And somebody's very excited in the boot so I think it's time to get on the beach. One great advantage of working for myself is that when the sun does finally come out here in Normandy, I can sometimes stop and take advantage. Guys, come in. We literally have the entire beach ourselves. <laughs> wow, all ours. You want to go chasing the seagulls, Max? Probably do, don't you? <laughs> Hello, it proves actually quite difficult to film with a dog on the beach because he just wants to chase seagulls the entire time and pull on the lead. There they are behind me. <laughs> ah. Anyway, we're not chasing seagulls, Max is walking, trying to get some exercise and some fresh air. We'll never get there, we're just, we're not going to make it. I'll have to put you back in the car. Just, ah. oh god, you're going to be all wet afterwards. Then you'll get cold and you'll need a, sh a bath. You like that? <laughs> okay, it's a little paddling pool, it's quite nice. It'll be lovely in the summer when it gets warm. So I'm trying out the life as an artist thing. If it doesn't work out, I'll do something else. That's life, isn't it? Life should be an adventure. You shouldn't just stay doing the same old thing day in, day out, every single day, just because you're scared of what might be out there. Nobody else does anything for you in life. You have people that love you around you, if you're lucky, supporting you, but um, it's not really, it is up to you. It's down to you whether you make it work or not. I recently finished this painting which is inspired by the wonderful wide beaches here in Normandy.
une journée à la plage mérite bien une visite à la boulangerie à mon avis. Et donc je suis allée à la Mipolette, une merveilleuse boulangerie en centre-ville de Caen qu'on adore. Ils ont un énorme choix et tout est cuit sur place, donc c'est très difficile de choisir qu'une seule chose. Cette fois-ci, j'ai choisi quand même une éclair citron meringue, bien meilleure qu'une tarte au citron traditionnelle à mon avis. On a l'impression d'être chez des amis dans leur salon super cosy. When I got home that evening, I decided to finish off a painting that I'd been meaning to finish for a while. I wanted to work on a seascape after spending the day there. So I fished this piece out of my to-do pile and got stuck in. It's actually painted from my imagination. I wanted to challenge myself to paint something without using a reference of any kind for a change. I found it really artistically freeing to paint this as I work so often on portrait commissions where I have to pay really close attention to the reference photo. I had a lot of fun with this piece and I got quite carried away with the waves in the end, adding details with iridescent and glitter fabric paints as well. It's so nice just to let go and do what I feel like for a change. I'm not too sure about the horizon in this piece. I don't think it's very close to how it would actually look in reality. But that doesn't matter. It's just nice to have a play around sometimes. And what this painting is really all about is the contrast of colors, the warm colors of yellow and orange, and then the cool blues and greens and the relaxing evening feeling that I want the painting to convey. dangerous place to sit, isn't it? That's a very dangerous place to sit. Do you want to be squashed? Hey, my tooth. You're very, very beautiful. You're very, very handsome. You're very, 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 very handsome boy. Are you jealous of the cat? I know, I know. But I love you both. You both live here. Yeah, the cat was here first, and then you came, and we love you both. Can I touch the cat? Does that upset you? Can I touch you? See? I love you both. Just try to be friends. Just try. Mother quite likes you. He does. He'd like to be friends. He would. close. <laughs> Do your best. Yeah. Does he smell funny? Does he look funny? <laughs> Is he not a dog? Mm. Oh, okay. You're just tired. Okay, never mind. Thank you so much for watching. I'm off to the printers now to get some prints, uh, posters and some postcards made of some of my KISS painting series as I'm going to be painting live in a local shop soon uh, so I'm very excited about that. I'll be doing it during Valentine's Day so I'm going to paint a painting of the couple from the film Dirty Dancing so if you're interested in seeing the process, getting that ready, I'll be doing that for you uh, this week and I'll share that with you next Friday so don't forget to subscribe below so you don't miss that. If you'd like to see the video, if you haven't already watched it for um, how I prepared this portrait here, then that's also linked below for you. Have a fantastic week and see you next Friday. Bye. 
As a special thank you for watching all the way through to the end, I thought I would share this amazing photograph that I took at the beach a couple of years ago. There's absolutely no Photoshop used whatsoever. It's just pure chance. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to click the subscribe button below so you never miss out on one of my weekly art vlogs. Thank you for watching. See you soon.